I'm Michelle Gasso, and this is something straight out of my mind. So, I have to categorize this video as a woo-woo video. Um, now, I personally do not use the term woo-woo uh, un unless I'm, <laughs> I, I guess I was going to say dealing with somebody who views it as woo-woo uh, when I talk about something paranormal. I'll say, well, this is a woo-woo story. Just, and I'm saying that now because if you are somebody who views paranormal um, experiences, things like that, as woo-woo, this video might not be for you. And I will have no problem if you turn it off and just go about something else. Um, if you choose to listen to the story and then comment nasty things and and whatever kind of debunking talk, then I'm, I'm not going to be thrilled. I don't mind conversation about it, but I'm talking about specifically if you're going to get in there with nasty comments, I, I would prefer you just go on to another video. So, you have a moment to make that decision. <laughs> and now here we are. So it was um, 2002. I'm pretty, I, I'm thinking it was that. Some time ago. And I was scheduled to go to Los Angeles to attend back-to-back -back conventions. Um, somebody, ha I hadn't done a convention type meet and greet event in, in a while. And I think what threw me is I stupidly attended as an attendee, I guess I'd say instead of a guest. Um, so it didn't quite work out in the networking sense that I was hoping it would. But nonetheless, there I was and I was, they were kind of back to back, but I had this time in between and then where I didn't want to come back to Indiana and then go back out. So I stayed and I attempted to occupy my time with something else. And one of the things I was finally gonna break down and do, and if we go back a couple of videos where I talk about Richard Long and why on the World Wide Web, I am Jared's sis. And Richard Long does mean something to me. Um, and I was finally going to break down and figure out, you know, where he's buried, go make a visit. And I had looked it up online, I think, and they gave me the name of a cemetery and address. And so I had planned, I had the driver, and I was going to go to the cemetery on this one day. And what was really, um, I don't even want to say this, but typical of my mindset at the time is I was still afraid of being like asked to leave or told I don't belong somewhere. So what I didn't want to do was go to the office and say, where's Richard Long? <laughs> and have somebody say, are you a relative? Because this had actually happened before on, on some other kind of a thing. And I'd either have to lie and have them want some proof or, you know, or tell the truth and have them say, well, get lost. <laughs> I, I don't even know right now, looking back, what would make me think they do that, but okay. So it wasn't a large cemetery. It wasn't like it was the big forest lawn one. And so I thought, you know, I'm going to walk around. I could find him. And so I left the driver. I said, I'm just going to go walk around. And I'm wandering around and I am up and down everything and I am seeing <laughs> like nothing. And I'm like, oh, this, this is futile. And I forget how long I'd been there kind of walking around. And out of frustration, I guess, I looked up and I said, where are you? Where are you? 
And like the very second after I asked that, a lawn sprinkler went off and it was like right at my foot and water just gushed all over me, like half of me, I was soaked. And I was like, okay, that's a sign. I, I just need to go to the office and ask, I, you know. And so I got my courage up. I went to the office and it was a very kind of like casual looking office. And the woman was very helpful. And she said something that it turns out, I think most of his fans knew, <laughs> not me, okay. Um, was that he'd been cremated and his ashes scattered in the ocean. <laughs> and I was like, oh, and she kind of wrote down the information, you know, like the coordinates of where they scattered him. And I thanked her and it was very, you know, and I'm walking back to the car and I'm wet and I'm grumbling. And it's my own fault because I didn't research well enough. I'm, I'm letting you know that right now. <laughs> it was like, okay. I did not research this before I went. And I'm kind of grumbling. It's like, and, and I'm grumbling to him. <laughs> this is like, you know, my typical thing. Like, you know, and, you know, I'm wet and I'm, I'm like, oh, you couldn't even give me a hint. Oh. You did. <laughs> it hit me. I was like, okay. I asked, where are you? Water. I'm in water. I know that, you know, I mean, other people have more intense uh, kind of <laughs> stories. Um, what was interesting about that when that hit me, I was like, oh no. <laughs> and so, like I said, I was there. And I think at the time, because that was actually the, the um, I don't know if the convention, I think the convention had, one of the conventions had started because we were going as a group to see a play called Johnny on the Spot. And I was telling somebody about this, and I had been telling them how, you know, the Jared Sis thing and kind of, you know, viewed him as a big brother, and I'm telling this story. And she says, you know, that's kind of a big brother thing he did to you. <laughs> so, still somewhat pleasant memory on that, I realized. And it was fun looking back and getting doused with water from a a lawn sprinkler that I didn't notice. Um, went from being, you know, annoyed, annoyed at being soaked to kind of going, oh, okay. <laughs> so if you ever had an experience like that, I'd like to hear about it in the comments. And give, give a thumbs up to the video. And I'll see you next time there's something straight out of my mind.